Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any new viewers. I am Simone, the moon goddess. So Libra, happy birthday. Happiest of birthdays. I hope you have a beautiful birthday month in October. For those who've already had your birthdays in September, I hope you had a beautiful birthday. Um, this is your time. The sun is shining on you, Libra. So this is your reading for the month of October. Okay, so this will be for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also check your Jupiter if you want a more masculine take on the energy. Um, yeah, so let's get an, a general understanding of what's coming for you in the month of October. First of all, let me say a big thank you to all of those who subscribe to the channel, um, for all of those who support, who comment, who cheer me on. I appreciate you all so much. The love is real. I just want to let you know that I'll be going live every Monday. Every Monday I'll jump on here we, and we can connect and engage. And because um, re I really want to build a community with you. Okay, so I don't just want to like drop readings on you and just leave you all to deal with the follow of it. I feel like there's a real need for, for us to connect and to talk about these things, you know, talk about whatever is on your mind when it comes to the readings that I might have posted the week before. So we'll just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the entire um, plan as it is, but we will get there, okay? So, okay, let's, let me get into it. If any of these messages resonate, drop me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know that I've posted new content for you, new videos. Um, if there's anybody who's interested in connecting with me for a one-on-one -on -one read, all of my details are in the description box. If you just need to like, reach out to me for whatever reason, my email address is also there. Send me an email and let's see what we can do, okay? Um, Spirit guys, what's the messages you want me to share with Libra for the month of October? What's the energy surrounding my Libra loves for the month of October? May the messages be for the highest good of all involved with Harmton and Ashe. Spirit guys, what's the messages you want me to share with Libra for the month of October? Hmm. Okay. And I have two more cards for Libra, Spirit guys. Is there any other message? Is there any other message you want me to share with Libra, Spirit guides? I love when I look at cards before I come on, on camera and I shuffle and I see cards and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And they pop up again when I actually am um, connecting with you. So the bottom of the deck for you, Libra, is to the sea. All right. So I feel like spirit is saying to you, you need to really flow. All right. Go with the flow. You can't really pin down the energies right now. We've shifted so much over the last couple of months. Pluto has gone um, direct today. Today is the third that I'm recording this. Um, Saturn went direct. There's so much. So I feel like right now we're just waiting for the dust to settle. You got to go with the flow. There's no real way to um, hold, to pin down the energy. Top of the deck is building blocks. So that's very much what I just described. We are definitely in that phase of rebuilding and renovating and just just waiting to see this grand design at the end of all of this there's no real end actually because it's constant constant flow of change right but you you get what i mean so your first card out libra is higher power and it definitely ties in with the energies up to the sea you're not in this alone. And even though you might feel as if there's nothing happening, and I feel as if Libra is like checking the clock because your second card is TikTok. All right, so it's almost like you just like, things need to fall into place because there's only so much time left in 2019 and I need to get this done. And why won't people hurry up and come back with the response and all these other things might be going on in your mind. There's a higher power here, okay? You need to go with the flow. Higher power is card number four. TikTok is card 30. Um, 
So it's almost as if by not trusting in your, the grand design of your life. Okay, remember you're co-creating with spirit. You're not in this alone. So the universe, your spirit guides, your ascended ancestors, the most high, however you decide to like think of ener this energy, always sees more than you can see. You know, we have limited scope. We have limited vision. The universe is abundant and expansive and infinite. So trust in the higher power. Trust in, in the trust. Trust that everything will fall into place as it should. Trust that you're always in sync and on time. You're never out of, um, you're never um, behind or there's nothing you've lost. You're always being aligned, okay? And if you fall off your path, you will always be pushed back onto your path by your spirit team. And that's the way it is. Your third card, Libra, beautiful, treasure island. All right, so if this is what you've been like, watching the clock on, it's here. It's here. Also notice this is a turtle. All right, so again to the sea. On land turtles move really slow, okay, really slowly. They get there, slow and steady, but they get there, right? And now this turtle is in water. You know how turtles go when they get into water, right? It's almost as if everything will feel as if it's dragging and then suddenly things just take off and everything just falls into alignment. We got Pluto direct now. So wherever we might have a Saturn direct, both are in Capricorn, gone direct now. So I feel like the bricks are coming off. All right. So it's just like go the flow Libra, but this is beautiful. Treasure Island, absolutely beautiful. Hearts and stars and coins and, and a pot of gold and all that good stuff, a treasure chest. Trust the timing of your life. Let's see what's down the middle. <laughs> That's crazy. Look. All that glitters. That is crazy. How? All right. And all that glitters speaks about judging situations based on, on appearances. Based on appearances. This is so nuts. Down the middle, you have all that glitters. On one side is serendipity. And then on the other side is to be fair. And you're a Libra. You're all about the scale. So this is your energy 100%. It's again, you will feel as if nothing is happening. And then all of a sudden, things just kick off. And the thing is, you cannot judge. Be mindful of judging the situation. From the way it appears be mindful of judging people from the way they appear you know wait to see how things unfold before coming up with some kind of conclusion all right because more than likely your um perception might be a bit skewed you gotta let things unfold all right trust your intuition know the difference between intuition and fear okay if it's up here in the chest and you feel like you can't breathe properly that's most likely fear if it's down here in your gut you know, and it, or, 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 you know, in, in this area, your gut area, more than likely it's your intuition. So you need to discern, dis, you know, figure out and differentiate the two energies. So let's get into some tarot. Let's get into some tarot. I'm going to use this deck. Yeah, I feel like I'll use this deck today. So spirit guys, what's the messages you want me to share with Libra for the month of October? We'll start off with a Celtic cross and then branch out from there and see what else comes up, okay? So what's the energy surrounding Libra spirit, guys? What's the messages you want me to share with Libra for the month of October? May the messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm from the Nashe spirit, guys. What's the messages you want me to share with Libra? So your first card out is a star. All right. Um, it actually came out reversed. And I feel it's like you might be feeling, you know, as you go along your path, 
like I feel as if the, the readings that I've been doing for you Libra over the couple last couple of weeks you've been strong you've know you know where you're going you're very focused Libra is just Libra seem to just have it together you know and energy is constantly changing things are always changing timelines are always shifting and I feel as if you might be at the phase now of because there might be a bit of a slowdown, you might start to doubt, you know, doubt your whatever you've been visualizing and working towards manifestation. You might start to doubt it. You have to remember it's about alignment, okay? Again, differentiate between fear and intuition. So when I see the star reverse, it's a sense of perhaps doubt, maybe a sense of fearing being vulnerable in some way. Um, maybe feeling as if you're not connected, feeling as if you're not aligned, you're always aligned, okay? When a, you, you can fall off your path, you will always be tripped up by your spirit team and put back on the path, okay? That's just the way it is. The bottom of the deck is the Sun of Pentacles. And that's interesting because this is the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is slow and steady. The Knight of Pentacles or the Sun of Pentacles is very deliberate and methodical. There's no, they're not in a hurry to jump into things. They're, they're weighing opportunities and looking at the way, the best way to tackle a, a project or a situation or whatever. So considering this is at the bottom of the deck, you know, again, maybe that's work with the energy instead of thinking that it's working against you. If there's a downtime, don't fight against it because you'll just be stressing out yourself. So use the downtime to do other things. Maybe some admin. Maybe some, again, visualizing. Maybe going back over your... Going back over how far you've come to see where you might be able to, like, um, make changes or, you know? Use the energy for your highest. Okay, so two cards came out here. You got the moon card. And the Three of Cups. Um, so the moon. And the Three of Cups. There could be something hidden here. The moon energy again. I actually know. Actually what I feel it is. What I feel this energy is. Is that the fact that the moon moves in phases and cycles. Alright. And that affects us it affects aspects of us um how we feel our emotions and we need to respect that we need to respect that everything moves in phases and cycles nature is a, a cycle you know we have been made to believe that we're supposed to be working 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 and grinding 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 and hustling 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 and that goes against nature i feel as if these two cards with the star coming out reversed this Sun of Pentacles, slow down energy, TikTok, higher power, treasure island. I feel that it's spirit saying to you, again, use the downtime to socialize, to, to, for your highest good, for your healing. You know, go out and socialize. That's why I feel that Three of Cups is about connecting to others, like-minded people, Libra season. It's felt that way. The reading I did... A couple days ago for the general energies for everybody was that sense of connecting with others, supporting each other. All right. That's being pushed. That energy has been pushed heavily. Let's see what's at the, the root. Okay. So you have the seven of wands. Again, a sense of. I feel like um, it's almost as if you're all gripping. Waiting with bated breath. It's almost like if you need to just breathe. If, if Think about it right now in this moment. Take a deep breath and, ha and think about have you been breathing properly? And how long haven't you been breathing properly? Remember the breath is how you connect to spirit. All right, so I feel like the seven of wands, you're trying to find a light, maybe trying to find something to keep you steady, to keep you focused, to keep reminding you that you're okay. And you really are. You really are. Let's see what's on your, in your conscious mind. <laughs> judgment. Beautiful. And what's so beautiful about this, the judgment card is connected to Pluto. Like I said, Pluto is going retro. Sorry, direct today, the 3rd of October. 
And every time I see this card, I hear, oh, you know what I mean? Like a, like a choir of angels. It's like, you know which direction you're going in. You can trust your judgment, all right? It's about trusting your judgment. It's about awakening, a rebirth of sorts, a transformation, a resurrection. Um, and all of this is in your conscious mind. Okay, so that's beautiful. Let's see what's your recent past energies. Six of Cups. So maybe y'all have been like reminiscing. Maybe this is why your star was reversed. Maybe because you've been thinking about long and hard about the things that passed. People who you might have, relationships that might have passed or relationships that might have died away. Um, maybe just being sentimental, thinking about the good times. There is a real sense of digging deep here. Maybe with all the different transits that we recently experienced, you've been like digging deep within yourself in order to determine how you're going forward. Remembering the, um, the things that used to get you excited when you were a child, you know, and using that to propel you forward, tapping into that, your passions. You know, it felt like playing, like playing games as a child, but where can you actually like create money from that, that passion? Also, there's a sense of maybe somebody came back recently, a past relationship, an ex came back. I don't remember what Libra's ex story was, but um, I see deep roots here. Let's see, energy's coming in, the Eight of Swords. So that's interesting. Um... Libra, you got don't get caught up in your fears and anxieties. Notice with this card, this is a butterfly, okay? Surrounded by swords, but it's a butterfly. Butterflies can fly away. Alright, so there is they wherever you might be feeling trapped, dig deep to see, are you really trapped? Is there a way for you to escape? To free yourself? To stop? Trapping yourself with your own fears and anxieties and your sense of lack, you know. Let's see what's your word of advice. Wow, beautiful. The Hermit. So this is Virgo's card. Did I not say slow and steady? You have turtles everywhere as well, Libra. <laughs> That's so crazy. All right, so... On land, this is you, slow and steady. You're digging deep. You're connecting with your divine wisdom within. You're trusting it as well. Trusting your own, the advice that you, you feel is the right advice to take. Maybe for some of you, um, you might be receiving a message, a bird just flew by. Um, through a friend, somebody who's, wise uh, uh, an advisor a spiritual advisor um some sort of wisdom is coming and spirit is asking you to to listen and and trust it all right and also connect with yourself the solitude i feel like in libra sorry in october i feel libra will be slowing down a bit that's the energy i get but it's not a bad thing i feel like it's time it's a um, consolidating it's a uh, reflecting time but also it's going to speed up really fast it's like two extremes I feel with the time our concept of time our perception of time I feel it will be that for Libra on land it's very slow but when you flow is when things pick up when you go with the flow remember to the sea yeah so yeah, your word of advice, the hermit. Let's see what's your external influence. Five of swords. So there's some sort of conflict here. I feel like this is your internal conflict, to be honest. Um, swords, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. External influence. So this could be a... Um, what's fixed? Taurus, sorry, what am I saying? Aquarius, Aquarius energy. 
So this, I feel like this is a sense of maybe you have feeling as if you have to cut yourself in half in order to please others. Maybe this three of cups energy is just that working with others, but it's like one minute is good, next minute is not so good. Or in your mind, your perception of it is like cycles or phases. And there might be some sort of conflict. Like I feel as if Libra might be feeling as if they need to cut themselves in half in order to please all the parties involved. Whether this is business or love, you know, you and your partner against family. Some kind of, there's a conflict here. I will clarify that. Let's see what's your hopes and fears. Eight of Cups. So there is a hope and there is a sense of wanting things to change. But there's also a sense of being trapped by something that you can't see. And on top of, okay, so, okay, that's where the conflict is. All right, so within some kind of relationship here, with this Three of Cups energy in the moon, there is something hidden. All right, like I said, maybe re the relationship is very, uh, one minute is up, next minute is down. You don't know where you, if you come in or going with this person or persons. And... There's been some sort of conflict. Somebody feels like cut in half or feels conflict, conflicted in some way. And there's a sense of wanting to walk away. You don't see how it can be fixed. You don't see how can, anything can be fixed here. You got to trust your judgment on this with the judgment card. Where you might be feeling trapped, you're not. You hold the power here. You can fly away from this situation. You can leave this situation. So that's why your star card was, was reversed because there's a sense of um maybe you thought that you had a strong team when it came to your business or your, within your personal relationship or your connection your community or whatever and now it's like you feel you've discovered certain things okay and this connection had to do with your past so maybe this is a friend or a family member or again y'all saw eye to eye it's a deep it's a connection like y'all were connected whatever the situation is and you have to make a decision here. So spirit is saying it's time for you to go within. And that's why it was like all that glitters, you know. Are you judging the situation from a sense of bias? Are you neutral? Are you biased? Um, it could also be for some of you that all that glitters is not gold. Straight up. It could be that for some of you, because this is a general reading, so this can go either way. For some of you, you need to not judge people or situations too quickly or based on outer appearances. All right. And for some of you, all that glitters is not gold. So that's where the discernment comes in. That's where you need to go deeper. That's where connect to your higher power. Again, like I will say this in all of my readings, you all have to remember you are not in this alone. You have a strong spirit team that surrounds you. Guardian angels, spirit guides, and all the other energies that you connect with or, or, con or you relate to surround you. You don't have to make these decisions alone. Connect. They're waiting for you to connect. So there's a sense of wanting to walk away, but maybe there's a real sentimental tie here. So you want to move forward, but yet, you know, it's a deep connection. And, um... Yeah, hopes and fears, wanting change, but yet there's still something kind of holding you back. Your final outcome, let's see, what's your final outcome? The Four of Swords. So Libra, to be honest, your entire reading is saying slow down. I feel in, in, in October, there'll be aspects of your life where things will slow down. I feel as if it will feel that way. And then all of a sudden, swimming, swimming with the fishes is what I get here. Y'all got to trust this. Um, let's see what's this external influence with this Five of Swords. What's this external influence, Spirit Guides? With the Five of Swords for Libra. <clears throat> what's this external influence for Libra with the Five of Swords, Spirit Guides? Wow, the Nine of Swords. So whatever this is, this all that glitters, yeah, for, yeah, for some of you, mm -mm. this is heavy. You need to trust this. You're not trapped. You need to free yourself from this, okay? I know that there's a some sort of there's some sort of strong connection here, some sort of 
soul connection or tie. But mm -mm, external influence, five and nine of swords. That's a lot. This energy is heavy. And this is how you feel. Like you want to walk away from it. You got to fly, Libra. All right, you got to trust your intuition on this. Aquarius was the first, the star card was the first card out. Um, that's Aquarius energy. I don't know if this is Aquarius that you are thinking about. It could be Gemini, it could be Libra. There is Scorpio here. There's Cancerian energy. Um, Seven of Wands is Leo. There's, like I said, Cancerian energy here. There's Virgo. It could, there's so many different signs this could be connected to. There's Pisces as well. But yeah, this external influence, you, you guys need to like cut that. Cut it. Cut it. Walk away. You gonna, yep, Son of Cups is here, bottom of the deck. It's like you are in downtime because there's something you have to contemplate deeply. Word of advice, the hermit, all right? You got this four of swords. This is about a respite. This is about taking a break. This is also about trusting the higher power. If you might be feeling, what's the word I want? Um, vulnerable in some way. Because notice this is a lamb. And four swords hovering over this lamb. So if you might be feeling um, vulnerable or attacked in some way, you're, you are protected. But you have to, I feel as if the reason why things are going to slow down and you need to go within is to be able to cut out the energies that no longer suit you, that heavy energy. Five of swords, this nine of swords, yeah. You got to free yourself, my loves. Three of pentacles is here. So I feel like this is some sort of collaboration. The world is here. Things come in full circle for sure. Things come in full circle. Things will be solved. What's this Eight of Swords, Spirit Guides? What's the Eight of Swords? <laughs> Six of Swords. Ten of Cups. And this dodgy Seven of Swords that trying to get out of my hand. You all saw that, right? Trying to get out of my hand. So there's somebody that you all feel... Um, and it's somebody close to you as well. That you don't trust. You got to trust this. You got swords everywhere. You got to trust this Libra. It's connected to. Maybe it's like close to home. That's the vibe I get with this. Close to home. But it's time to like move towards the rainbow. It's time to leave the situation. And head towards something that's a lot more. Um, fulfilling and true. Alright. There's no sense in avoiding. This seven of swords could be you avoiding the situation as well. You can be everything to everybody. All right, you got to cut. You got to you gotta make that decision. Because it, it cannot be at your expense any longer. Whatever this is cannot be at your expense any longer. Daughter of Cups is now here at the bottom. The Chariot, yeah. Time to move on. Let's see, Spirit, guys. Can I have some oracles? Thank you for those messages for Libra. Can I have some oracles for Libra? The month of October with the general energies. My eyes just landed on what do you need to release. What's the general energies for Libra Spirit Guides? For the month of October. What's the energies you want? What's the messages, Spirit Guides, you want me to share with Libra? What's the messages you want me to share with Libra for the month of October? Those are my three. And you got another. Okay. So luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what these cards are. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Now I see it. You're all contemplating and thinking. Remember, judgment is here. All right. The, you know which direction you need to go in. The seven of wands shows that you are, you are okay. Keep going towards the light. Your, and the light is your truth. The light is your truth. You need to trust your intuition on this. Whatever this is, somebody has to be cut. Some situation or person needs to be cut out. A fiery climax approaches. So things are going to kick off regardless. 
trusting your higher power. All right. You got emotions are running high. Super moon. Wow. And work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. And your third, your fourth card, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So I feel like this has to do with the collective, like friends or some kind of close relationship. It's crazy that the star card was the first card out. It came out reversed. Like I said, the star card is, re is connected to Aquarius. And you have this new moon in Aquarius card. <sighs> wow. Um, let me pull some more oracles. Thank you for those messages, spirit guides. Okay, actually, before I pull this, let me pull some love oracles for those who might be thinking about love. Can I have some cards for Libra for love, spirit guides? It's the energies you want me to share with Libra for the month of October. Oh, there's my three. <laughs> Beautiful. So, Libra, your first card, balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So if this is some sort of one-sided affair, Libra, that's crazy. <laughs> you cannot make it up. Ashe. All right. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we, re when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. And create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. <clears throat> Third card, friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. All right. Um, now let me pull these cards. Wow, Libra, the message is deep. Thank you so much, Spirit, guys. Can I have one last set of cards for Libra? It's their birthday, so we'll be giving them everything. What's, what's the messages you want me to share with Libra, Spirit, guys? What's the messages you want me to share with Libra, Spirit, guys, for the month of October? I have some cards for the month of October for Libra Spirit Guides. Can I have one more card for Libra Spirit Guides for the month of October? Thank you. Wow. Okay. So the bottom of the deck, card 47, it says feed your spirit fully. All right. So in this downtime, because I do see, I do feel there will be a bit of downtime. You need to feed. This is, you're, you're receiving this downtime in order to feed your spirit to take time out for yourself to connect to your yourself to connect mind body spirit take a break you can't work 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 constantly okay let's see top of the deck call on your runners and i did say you need to call on your spirit team to assist you higher power remember okay you're not in this alone Time for crayons. This came out in the general read that I did on Monday. Um, again, a sense of relaxation, taking a break from the constant um, working or thinking or over planning, whatever. Just have fun, get creative, get your crayons out, your markers, your, your pastels, whatever, draw, paint. It's time to disconnect so you can connect. All right, so seek solitude. Well, <laughs> Libra. <laughs> wow. So spirit comes through twice, three times, four times with the same message. You got to disconnect to connect so you can trust which direction you need to go in. That's, that's for your highest good. Next card, see the solution. Notice where the arrows are pointing. All right, so everything that you need is within you. You have 40, 46, 47, I think, is at the bottom. Yeah, 47 is here. You have 46. And your final card, Libra, is card 20, clear the path. All right, so clear the path. 
whatever needs to be cut from your life so that this can then flow in. All right. So then you can think clearly so that you can feel clearly so you can understand so you can, you know, see clearly. All right. So those are your messages, Libra. If these messages resonate, give me a thumbs up. Um, share the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you know that I've posted a new video. Again, if you want to connect with me for one on one on one on one read, details down below. Um, follow me on Instagram, the Moon Goddess Tarot. And Libra, I hope you have a beautiful birthday. Big love to you. Until next video. Bye bye.